In this example, we will introduce logarithms. In part A, label the components of the base B logarithm of A equals E and A equals B to the power of E. The base of the logarithm is B. A is called the argument of the logarithm. and E is the result of the logarithm. In the exponential form, A is the result. B is the base. And E is the exponent. The base in each expression is the same. The argument in logarithmic form is the result in exponential form. And the result in logarithmic form is the exponent in exponential form. In part B, evaluate each logarithm. Start with part 1. It will be helpful to write an X in the answer box to represent the result. Visually, draw a 7 as shown in the animation. The 7 rule is a guide to map logarithm components to the exponential form. Following the 7, we get 2 raised to the power of x equals 1. The goal is to evaluate the base 2 logarithm of 1 by solving for x and 2 to the power of x equals 1. The answer we get for x will be the numerical value of the logarithm. Now solve for x and 2 to the power of x equals 1. By inspection, we can see that x equals 0. The value of the logarithm is 0. Two to the power of 1 equals 2, so the value of the logarithm is 1. The result in logarithmic form is the exponent in exponential form. 2 squared equals 4, so the value of the logarithm is 2. The result in logarithmic form is the exponent in exponential form. 2 cubed equals 8, so the value of the logarithm is 3. The result in logarithmic form is the exponent in exponential form. Now we'll move on to part 2. A logarithm written without a base implies base 10. This is called a common logarithm, and the log button on your calculator has a base of 10. Ten to the power of zero equals one, so log one equals zero. Ten to the power of one equals ten, so log ten equals one. Ten to the power of two equals one hundred, so log one hundred equals two. 10 to the power of 3 equals 1,000, so log 1,000 equals 3. In a binary base 2 logarithmic scale, an increase of one unit in the result corresponds to a doubling of the argument. In a common base 10 logarithmic scale, 
An increase of one unit in the result corresponds to a tenfold increase of the argument. In part C, determine which logarithm is bigger. In part 1, which is bigger, the base 2 logarithm of 1 or the base 4 logarithm of 2? Set each logarithm equal to x. The first logarithm becomes 2 to the power of x equals 1. The value of x is 0. The second logarithm becomes 4 to the power of x equals 2. Get a common base by writing 4 as 2 squared. Multiply the exponents. Set the exponents equal to each other. Divide both sides by 2 to get x equals 1 half. The bigger logarithm is the base 4 logarithm of 2. In part 2, which is bigger, the base 3 logarithm of 1 over 9 or the base 9 logarithm of 1 over 3? Set each logarithm equal to x. The first logarithm becomes 3 to the power of x equals 1 over 9. Get a common base by writing 9 as 3 squared. Now write the fraction as a power with a negative exponent. Equate the exponents to get x equals negative 2. The second logarithm becomes 9 to the power of x equals 1 over 3. Get a common base by writing 9 as 3 squared. On the left side, multiply the exponents. On the right side, Write the fraction as a power with a negative exponent. Equate the exponents. Divide both sides by 2 to isolate x. The base 9 logarithm of 1 over 3 is the bigger logarithm.